Welcome to part three um, about my videos trying to fix this uh, Panasonic DMR ES10 uh, DVD recorder. So um, I actually went and replaced um, all of the capacitors that I thought needed replacing and um, you can see what I've done. I've replaced these two here. I've replaced this one, this one, this one and I think this one here. Um, so basically, um, no improvement unfortunately um, on the last video. So when I power it up, I can open up the uh, tray. I can also put a DVD in, it'll play a DVD. So I've got a remote control actually, um, so, that, so this will allow me to play it, but there's absolutely no um, signal, no video signal at all. So um, I did just sort of have my finger on here when it was switched on um, to sort of see what heat was generated because there's no heat sink on there and it did get surprisingly hot even though obviously no picture being output. Um, so something else I noticed um, and if I go to take this out now I've got a feeling that this board may have uh, been fried at some point. So the board itself doesn't look too bad but there's a bit of a uh, mark here on the main board um, so it obviously got very warm there. I mean they might all suffer from patches um, where the heat dissipates and if we look underneath um, I did notice with these two capacitors on the end they kind of they don't seem to sit true um, it might just be the way it's been assembled but I don't know if maybe one of those is leaking slightly and lifting um, which might be enough I suppose to stop the board from outputting um, the right signals um, which might be why we don't have any video so um, my next um, port of call, I've actually got a second machine on its way and that is supposed to uh, work as in output a signal. So I'm hoping with that one I can make one good machine and I will try um, a bit of basic testing by swapping some of the components out um, and see if I can fault find whether or not it is perhaps this board that's gone and not the power supply now. Um, so it'll be interesting but at least I'll have um, a few bits for parts so I'll have this um, DVD drive which does seem to at least read and play obviously I can't check if it records but um, at least I've got that as a spare and um, maybe anything else I can take back off here so I could always take the capacitors back out again and, and keep those as spares so um, yeah so my next video will be um, hopefully showing the uh, the next recorder, which is the same model, um, but hopefully one that's in a bit of a better state of repair. Um, although I do expect probably have to do a couple of capacitor changes on that one, if this is anything to go by. Okay, well thank you for um, watching my video and um, if you've got any ideas in the meantime um, about areas to check that could be why there's absolutely no video being output at all, then that would be really good. Um, so I have actually tried uh, the SCARTs and the, what have I tried on the back? I've tried this video and standard video out here. Um, I've not tried um, this side of it, but um, I would have thought if, it, if anything was to come out, it would come out on, on the S video. Um, but no, not yet. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching and uh, I will make another video soon.